Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. So, so, so excited. For those of you who are new here, my name is Donna. Thank you so much for joining me today. And for those of you who continue to come and watch my channel, I appreciate you all so very much for continuing to support me. Today, I am doing my Boxy Lux unboxing. I'm so excited for this video. So, so excited for this video. Look how big this box is. So, to put it into perspective for you, I did save one of my old BoxyCharm boxes. So, just one second. So, I know that they've done this at length on the regular BoxyCharm Instagram and Instagram stories. But, so this is the regular BoxyCharm box and this is the Lux box. What do we think about this? This is amazing. I am so stoked to open up this box. So let's just do it. Wait, 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 before I get ahead of myself here. BoxyCharm is a subscription service in which you get this size box every single month should you choose not to take part in Lux. This size box costs $21 a month, and it comes to you every single month, and it is full of four to five or five to six full-size items, and I have never received less than five items in these boxes but sometimes we receive six sometimes you get like brushes that come in packs of three or four and that counts as one item it's an exciting subscription service and well worth money I just did a BoxyCharm year in review video that is rather long it's like an hour but I went through you know what I paid for the subscription service the amount of the items, the dollar amount that the items that I received from BoxyCharm, what their worth was, retail value, and then what I actually got in free product with that retail value minus what I paid. I pay for my subscription service for a year at a time for this normal size box right here. So I pay for 11 boxes and get my 12th box free. I don't think that I could do without BoxyCharm in my life. I absolutely love BoxyCharm. So this year they started this, which is Lux. And the Lux box comes to you four times a year. So in September, December, March, and June. And it is an additional $28.99 on top of your regular subscription price. You do have to be a BoxyCharm subscriber in order to receive the Lux. You cannot just choose to receive Lux and Lux only. You actually have to subscribe to BoxyCharm to receive it. And you have to be an active subscriber to receive Lux. I know that when they did offer Lux it, for the first time was this month, September. And th all these emails went out on September 1st telling everybody who was a charmer at that point in time that now is the time to try and go in and sign up for Lux. And I know it was a huge fiasco. And I myself was one of those people that, you know, continued to get error messages very early in the morning. I am on the West Coast. They are on the East Coast. I was up at 5 a.m. just to make sure that all of my ducks were in a row so that I could get in on Lux. And therefore, when I received my waitlisted email, I was pretty upset. I went on to the Instagram account and actually didn't leave a hate message, so to speak, but was like, yo, you knew that this problem was going to exist. I don't know why we didn't make a better effort to make it so that it didn't happen again, because it's happened before with their limited edition boxes. Why is this happening? No sooner had I hit post <laughs> than I received an email from BoxyCharm. So I went into Boxy Ch into my email to see what this email was about from BoxyCharm, and it was a BoxyCharm email saying that I had been taken off of the wait list and was going to receive a Lux box. So first and foremost, I felt like an asshole for leaving that message, but... Second of all, I immediately got so excited, but then I started seeing all these posts from my friends, from my, my people saying, we were waitlisted, we were waitlisted, and I'm like, whoa, hold up, you might have been waitlisted now, but, you know, 10 minutes from now, 
check out your email, see if you have, if they haven't lifted your wait list, and some of them still remain on the wait list. So with that being said, I'm super sorry that that happened. I do feel bad for those of you who were unable to receive it. Hopefully in December, the ones that are on the wait list, I know we'll get a first come first serve kind of basis, but I know that this ticked people off to the extent that they unsubscribed from BoxyCharm. I will tell you that I don't think that unsubscribing is the answer. I think that BoxyCharm is quite possibly the best subscription service out there. It is my favorite and the boxes are always worth it. So I will link my BoxyCharm year in review video up in the eye so that you guys can check it out. Like I said, it is a rather long video, but it's pretty much proof positive that BoxyCharm is the best subscription box out there. I also have a link, a referral link down in my description bar if you guys are at all interested in BoxyCharm. So let's open this box. I've seen a few spoilers, but not many. So when you open up the box, this is what you see and it's pretty much just like the little tiny box, only this guy is huge. So in it, this will explain to you everything that you've received in the box and its retail value. So we'll get to see if this is worth it later. And everything is covered in foam. I just poked myself in the eye so as to protect your items. And then that is the box. I am so excited about this, you guys. The first thing I see in here is this R & Co Death Valley Dry Shampoo which I am excited about. I'm almost out of my dry shampoo, so this couldn't have come at a better time and I've never tried this dry shampoo before. If you guys have tried this dry shampoo, please let me know in the comments section. I would love to know what your thoughts are about it. Sometimes a dry shampoo leaves a really beautiful white cast in my dark hair, so I wouldn't be excited about that. Uh, oh, neat. So the next thing I see in here are these. They are the Alamar Cosmetics brushes. So if you guys remember, and I'll link the video up in the eye, Alamar Cosmetics was developed by Gabby, who works for Boxy. And it was it's her own cosmetics brand, and her palette is amazing. So these are their brushes, and it looks like I have a nice crease brush right here. I really love the green handles. Like, I'm getting all kinds of colorful brushes. I don't know if you guys watch my Ipsy unbagging, but I had a really nice Luxie brush in there that is also very colorful. I love this. I love this crease brush. Look at that. That is a beautiful crease brush. And this looks like a packer brush really nice uh, super thin packer brush and then it looks like we have an eyeliner brush as well I really really love the handles on this and they say Alamar on them and everybody knows I'm in it for the brushes I mean kind of a brush hoarder <laughs> um I got another brush so this is a Luxie brush which I love Luxie brushes and this Looks like it is a, a very fancy Luxie brush. So this is it, and it is so soft. And this is the side of it. So, and it co goes down to a nice little point. Sorry, that swatches from my last video. Goes down to a nice little point. It feels like NARS packaging. I could feel this brush all day long. I could use it all day long. So it is an airbrush foundation brush, which is nice. I've been thinking about getting a new foundation brush. I really want one that's a little more densely packed than this and maybe like shorter so that the bristles don't hold as much foundation in it. But I'm going to try this one before I actually spend the money. I love this brush. I love Luxie. Sorry about the lighting, you guys. This window is like creating some pretty crazy lighting going on. So four brushes in this. We're down three items. Next I got this Grande Lips Hydro Plump Liquid Lipstick in Semi Matte Rubble Raisin. And this is what it looks like. 
I have a Grande Lips before my daughter got in one of her boxy charms and gave to me because she didn't like it, but this one is much different. Oh. So the packaging on this is really, really sleek and like high class. It seems it feels very expensive. So this shows the color as well. It's a nice like raisin color which is probably why it's called rebel raisin kind of like a a dark red a dark like burgundy red which is going to be perfect for the fall look at that you guys can you guys see the coloring on that i'm so excited so i oof that's super dark let's look at it It feels goopy almost, but that's the color. It is a very, very dark color, so we'll have to see how that looks. I don't mind a dark lipstick. As a matter of fact, that's kind of like my favorite color on me is a darker lipstick color. God, this light. Sorry, guys. And it's got some crazy stain power because it is still on me. Alright, so the next thing in here is this Nightingale Pretty Vulgar Eyeshadow Palette. I have a few Pretty Vulgar items. Uh, the one that I use the most is a blush that we received in a BoxyCharm. We've also received a gel eyeliner in a, in a BoxyCharm as well. I love their packaging. I think their packaging is just the coolest packaging. But... I would never use a gel eyeliner, so I won't be using that. I do use the blush often, but the packaging of that blush is super cheap. It's really cute, but super cheap. So this is the palette, and when you open it up, it does have a mirror, which is nice. That is a bird cage, which is really cool. And this is a very nice change, considering the palette that we got last month. I can't wait to play with this. You guys know that I will be doing a get ready with me using all of the uh, col all of the items that I receive in my BoxyCharm. I do a get ready with me halfway through the month and then I also do a product review on these items uh, before we get our new BoxyCharm box. I don't think I did a product review this month. I think, sadly, last month's box was probably my least favorite BoxyCharm box. The next thing is this. This was a spoiler that was sent to me in my email. This is the Galactic uh, Skin Glow Duo in Moonlight, and it looks like this. I am going to hold off on swatching this because I haven't decided quite yet if I want to keep it or trade it for the Laura Geller blush that came in boxes. I do like the idea of trying something new. I don't typically do highlighter blush duos to, you know, for the most part, but I do love this packaging. It is a really pretty, like, mirrored pinky purple lilac-y color, so. And this is, again, the Galactic Skin Glow in Moonlight. Looks like we received a tote, and the tote says, totes a charmer. That is cute. I don't know whatever I will use this for, but it's cute. Okay, so I totally switched up my space because of the sunlight that was coming through the windows, and now you can see my vanity mess behind me. I'm sorry about that. But I wanted to be able to finish this box with you. So the next thing we got is this, which is by Vintage Cosmetics. Cute. It is a dolly makeup headband, y'all. That is so cute. I'm going to start using these for this for my videos. Uh, I kind of have a fat head, though, so I'm wondering... If that's gonna work I love that that is so cute we've received a few items from vintage cosmetics in previous boxes as well one of my favorite items from them that we have is this beautiful highlighter so the next thing in here is this juice beauty stem cellular anti-wrinkle booster serum so I have tried skincare from juice beauty before 
and I didn't really like it but I am it's because I didn't like the smell of it and couldn't hardly even get past the smell to get it on my face I've heard that this stuff smells amazing this is what the container looks like it's really cool I love the pump on it so we're gonna pump some out here it does kind of look like petroleum and it smells good it actually smells good and it feels really nice it smells actually pretty good I'm not sure if you guys can see it but it just leaves a really nice you know moisturizer esque look to your skin I feel like it's not that bad it does say to apply generously to cleanse face neck and decollete so there is that a nice beautiful full-size skincare item this is an item that I've been dying to buy and I'm so glad I didn't buy it it is the Sol de Janeiro Eponema sunset glow oil so we have this like epidemic right now where these like body oils filled with like glitter and stuff are on the market and like everybody thinks that they need to own them and I think Fenty started it with the body lava but this is by Sol de Janeiro you guys can see that uh, the top is like this really pretty like rose gold color and then it's got the bottle of Sunset Glow Oil and the top it is capped and sealed. I am not going to open it right now, but I am so excited to have this in my collection because like I said, it's something I've been wanting to buy, but I've kind of forced myself to quit buying stuff for now uh, because I'm just addicted to shopping for makeup. So I, I need to stop. It says it's a translucent, transfer-resistant shimmer for body and face. And I know that this stuff retails for like 40 something dollars. So this lighting sucks. I am so sorry, you guys. The next thing in here is this another item that I've been really thinking about purchasing. I know that it was on sale at Ulta for a minute and... I was going to buy some then I had hoped to get like the coconut scented but that's okay that's okay we'll see it is the Smashbox photo fitted photo finish centering citrus primer water so I've heard really great things about Smashbox primer water and these guys came out and there are three different scents there's the citrus there's a coconut one and then there is another scent I can't remember what it is but this is what this box looks or what this bottle looks like and the scent is for this one is citrus and it definitely smells citrusy however a lot of stuff that comes in a citrus scent for me kind of smells like lemon pledge <laughs> and this one really doesn't maybe it's a you know horrifying childhood experience I'm not sure maybe I have lemon pledge flashes I'm not sure oh the Sun is finally starting to be not so angry but this one really doesn't it doesn't smell like pledge and that makes me happy so I'm interested in trying this I like I said have heard great things about the primer water so and from what I understand you can use it for both priming and setting but let's read this hydrating three-in-one face primer preps, sets, and refreshes both your makeup and your mood. Yes, so you can use it for both prepping and setting your makeup, so I'm super excited about that, and it can't come at a better time because I'm almost out of two, not one, two of my setting sprays. Funny story, I switched up the camera again. The lighting, you guys, I'm so sorry. The next thing is an item I haven't quite decided what I'm doing with yet because I already have it. But with that being said, I'm so excited at the potential of what I could do with it. So we all know that I have a giveaway coming soon. I have all the products together, so this may go into that giveaway. I also, you know, could give it as a gift. It's an amazing gift, and I know what the retail value of it is because I have it. I purchased it. It is the Tarte high performance 
Park Avenue Princess chisel palette. It is a beautiful palette. What I'm going to do is go get mine and show you what mine looks like. Because if I put it in the giveaway, I don't want to destroy the packaging and sometimes that packaging can be hard to get into. But I also don't want to potentially ruin the product. So this is what the package looks like. It is a beautiful package. And the back is just like this. It doesn't really have anything on it. The inside has a giant mirror and then this is the palette. So I love this palette. These two are my favorite shades for bronzing or chiseling out my face. And I've used both of these highlighters, but this one is my favorite. And I just don't, they're not shimmery, so I don't really use them as a highlighter. I use them as like a brow bone highlight. I'll use them as banana powder under my eyes. There's not... There's not a lot of shimmer to it. This is really just an everyday chisel palette. I'm really happy to have this guy in my collection because it gives me a little more options to, you know, a face palette other than the Kat Von D contour palette that I have, the Shade and Light contour palette. So, and I'll be getting more use out of it because I'm finally starting to pound the Kat Von D one. So, with that being said, this, this one will either go into a giveaway or it will go to my daughter or it will be a gift for somebody in my life because I already have it and mine's fairly new. All right guys, let's open up this guy and see what all these products were worth and see if this was worth it. So this is huge and I love the theme this month. The theme this month was this wild flower boxy luxe. Let's start with this guy. This guy retails for $45. So already this box cost me $49.99 with a $21 regular subscription price and the additional $28.99 for the box. So already that almost pays for this box, just this one item right here. The Galactic Skin Glow Duo it retails for $26. The Pretty Vulgar Nightingale Smoky Eyeshadow Palette, which is a pretty, pretty neutral palette. I've heard plus and minuses about this palette. Like, so I've heard some people say that it's very, very patchy, so I'm anxious to actually try it and see what it's like. But I don't typically use neutrals, so we'll see. This guy retails for $35. This R & Co. Death Valley Dry Shampoo, this retails for $17. <laughs> I could not imagine spending $17 on this little tiny dry shampoo. Like, I didn't even think that this was a full size, if I've got to be honest with you. I'll have to look it up. This doesn't seem like it would be $17 worth of dry shampoo. Like, maybe I'm dumb but do you guys think this is worth $17 I mean it's no bigger than my hand is so so the next thing is the limited edition photo finish primer water which retails for $32 the next thing is the Sol de Janeiro Eponema sunset glow oil which retails for $35 this grande cosmetics Hydra Plump Liquid Lipstick retails for $25. This Luxie Airbrush Foundation Brush, this guy retails for $38. $38 for one brush. I get it, but I don't know that I'd spend $38 on one brush. This... Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Booster Serum retails for $80. Wow. Like, skincare is super expensive, but um, I had some Juice Beauty skincare. I thought it was a little more inexpensive than that, but apparently I'm fooling myself. That's ridiculous. This brush set by Alamar Cosmetics retails for $18. That's really reasonable. Super reasonable. And this Vintage Cosmetics Dolly Bow Makeup Headband retails for $4.99. So that's also super reasonable. There's actually 11 items in this box. All right, guys. So dun -dun -dun -dun, the retail value of this box 
is $355.99. And yes, I used a calculator because I can't add today. And I don't want to add today. And I paid $49.99 for it. So with that being said, I got $300 plus worth of product for free, right? So in addition to the items and the retail values, it does give you like item descriptions and tells you how to use the item and then it has this really cute picture that shows you a picture of everything in the box and then it also has this back section here which is full of coupons we have 15 percent off juice beauty products at juicebeauty.com using the code boxy sept 18 so b-o-x-y-s-e-p-t-18 i will put that down there for you guys and that expires October 31st. 10% off tart orders at tart.com which expires October 15th using BoxySept. I have 30% off at Laura Geller using the code BOXY which expires on the 15th as well. I love reading these cards because down here it has hashtag BoxyFact and it says the past two months We've held our first ever makeup classes, BoxyCharm in session, in Miami and Houston. Keep up with our tour using the hashtag BC in session. Who knows? Maybe we'll be dropping in a city near you. I wish they would come to a city near me, but I know that that's not going to happen. I live in Podunk, Washington. In this little tiny itty bitty town. I'm really super excited about this box. I hope that you guys loved it and if you did that you gave it a big thumbs up this video anyways. That really does help me figure out what content that you like and what content you don't like. It also really does help out my channel to get those thumb ups. Thumbs up. Those guys. And it's really simple for you to do. It just is one click, just one click. Uh, also, I hope that if you're new here that you loved me just a smidge enough to hit that subscribe button. I hope that you want to stick around because I'd love to see you in the comments section of my videos and watch you help me help this little YouTube family of mine grow. Uh, as I said, I just hit like my 500 subscriber count, so I do have a giveaway coming soon very very soon and there is quite a bit in this giveaway so I hope that you guys are excited for that and you'll want to subscribe if for nothing else for that giveaway because being a subscriber is going to be a prerequisite to winning uh, thank you guys so much for joining me today I know that you don't have to so it warms my heart that you choose to click on my videos and spend your moments with me and until next time Bye, guys. Um, P.S. Let me know if you got Boxy Lux. Let me know if you got anything different than what I got. I know that there were some variants in the box, such as Laura Geller versus Girl Galactic, but I think there were other variants as well. Let me know what you got. I would love to chat with you guys in the comment section, because you guys are my friends, because you have to be. <laughs> Thank you again so much for watching me, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.